there will no longer be the announcement of the nation's top-ranking secondary entrance assessment students. Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gaisby Dolly said the long-standing practice would end as it puts young scholars under undue pressure and diminishes their self-worth. Ayana Carter has more in this report. The Ministry of Education is concerned that the end result of such a practice, which had a laudable aim, has been disfigured by changing societal attitudes into a practice that now produces great anxiety, negativity, and mental distress for our children. Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly stated the initial intention of revealing the top-ranked students at SEA was as a means of encouragement to other students to achieve similar academic goals. However, the minister revealed that this practice has eroded and has had some unintended results. This public practice has resulted in students who have performed admirably even to the extent of securing places in their secondary school of first choice to have their meritorious performances overshadowed by an unhealthy competitiveness, often driven by parents, over relative examination scores which are preliminary. The minister said this has caused the ministry to reconsider the practice going forward. With effect from this year, the Ministry of Education will no longer be making public announcements of student rankings at the SEA based on preliminary examination scores. Rather, and with effect from 2022, the ranking list of students' SEA scores will only be finalized after the review period has elapsed and upon written request only, consideration will be given by the Ministry of Education to the provision of the final rank to parents or guardians individually and privately. The review period for SEA scores ends in mid-August and the deadline for request for reviews is July 8th. Ayana Carter, TTT News. And statistics from the Ministry of Education show evidence of learning loss among primary school children. With over 9,000 students scoring less than 50% in the 2022 secondary entrance assessment, Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gadsby Dolly announced a vacation revision program to assist these students in the mathematics, English language, and English language writing SEA components. This particular cohort who wrote SE in 2022 would have been engaged in online learning for the past two years. They would have been into their second term of Standard 3 when schools closed. This endorses the need for the government to have returned students to the physical classroom, despite the challenges to give them their best chance at educational success. This four-week program will run from July 18th to August 12th and will be conducted physically in 26 secondary schools. Registration will be conducted from July 11th to 15th. An emphasis will be placed on small class sizes of no more than 15 students per class and these classes will be conducted between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Parents of students requiring these classes will be specifically advised that their child is expected to register from July 11th to 15th at a school closest to their home. 600 teachers will be trained in remedial teaching to assist the students. Breakfast and lunch will also be provided and the program is estimated to cost $10 million. Meanwhile, preliminary scores indicate that there has been a significant decline in overall student performance in this year's Secondary Entrance Assessment SEA, examinations in Tobago. Secretary of the Division of Education, Research and Technology, Assemblyman Zorisha Hackett, said 278 students pass for their first choice, while 128 students are required to resit the exams. She shared the mean score for Tobago beginning with mathematics, which had a score of 33.8%. The number of students scoring above the national mean in each of the subject areas are as follows. Mathematics, 29.6% or 291 students. In English language arts, 39.6% or 390 students. And in creative writing, 391 students, which amounts to a total of 39.7%. 
Comparatively, in 2021, students scoring above the national mean in mathematics were 502, English Language Arts 523, and Creative Writing 409 students.